Okay, so I wanted to show off what I just finished pulling out of the oven. I still need to put in another batch. Um, I'm kind of in between making lunch. Yummy, yummy. And I found this recipe for, uh, first thing this morning. And it's banana quinoa muffins. Uh, this is this article about like 10 healthier things you can do um, for a healthier breakfast or some something like that. And everything else didn't really, I mean it was just basic, you know, add spinach here, tomatoes there. Um, but we like quinoa in this house. <laughs> and oddly enough, we had quinoa. Um, crap. Oh, here it is. We barely had any any left if you don't know what quinoa is. It's, oh, I can't zoom in. Or focus. Well, I think what I found out about it when we first tried it out, it was actually at this place called the Loving Cut in Orlando before we, we moved. Um, but it's kind of like a Brazilian nut and it has like lots of good stuff for you. I think it's, it may be better than brown rice, I'm not really sure. But here's the recipe. I got it. There's the website. So I won't give them props. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's from kitchendaily.com. And it's banana quinoa muffins. Sorry about the water stains. It's pretty much um, one and a half cups of flour, two tablespoons of light agave syrup. I actually had some at some point in this kitchen. My dad had spent the night and he we had did a trip to Whole Foods and he bought some, but I wasn't really a huge fan of it, so I ended up throwing it out after he left. Um, so what I did, I just replaced the syrup with, sorry about that, um, with sugar. And then um, baking powder, one egg, I used um, the liquid egg whites. I also used whole, whole wheat flour. Um, olive oil, milk, I actually used the soy, the, um, is it almond? Don't take a, this is what I use. <laughs> Um, as the milk, and then the quinoa, and then water, I actually used the spray water that was in the fridge, and then two bananas that happen to be organic. And then, like I said, we buy organic whenever possible. Um, I found out, even though I hate shopping at Walmart, Walmart does have the cheapest organic stuff that I see. We used to go to Whole Foods a lot until we moved, now the closest one is Jacksonville, so it's, I mean, when we make it up there, then we, we stop and go shopping. And then here's the batter. It kind of looks a little too drippy. I follow the instructions around, I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or not. But I haven't tasted them yet. I'll comment, I just pulled them out so they're still, they're still hot. And I have enough to do like another batch and a part in the mix matching cupcake. I was trying to use up what I had left. I had like four left of the uh, the foil, and then I was using whatever left over for the Halloween. And then I had some animal print, and I still have some. I have to run. I'm running out, and then I had the tiny ones, um, which I feel like making those, but uh, we'll see. All right, I just want to show it off. In I just love to bake. I should have been a baker. I probably was a baker in my past life. That's what they used to tell me in my old job. Um, and they said when I have kids, my kids will love me because I love to bake. But, oh, I did add walnuts to to the batter. I added walnuts. It's not on the list. But I added walnuts because I had some walnuts left over and what, why not? Alright, let me get out of here so I can make my lunch. Yay! And... And I don't know, and then go work out. I'm still working on orders for a little bit, and then I have to go fit in my good workout. So, yes. All right. Bye, people. Bye.